Tell me what you see. To some, you might see a clown, a fool, but to me, I see a true hero of Star Wars, the one that enabled us to get not just one, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Star Wars movies and many more. If it wasn't for this guy, everything would not exist. Yes, we're talking about Jar Jar Binks, and I really think the developers are setting us up for Jar Jar Binks in 2000. 24. They're trying to be sneaky about it, but uh, tech scanners, yeah, it's not sliding under my radar. Let's get talking. So lately, people have been catching on and being like, oh, did you see the teasers? Did you see this and that about Jar Jar? I I've been on this Jar Jar thing since 2022 when I first started getting indication that it's happening. Let me give you a brief summary where the whole Jar Jar, the Gungan history, really started to settle its roots down. Back in 2022, there was an alleged leak that turned out to be very mostly true, but one of those things in there were the Gungans. And as we know, it's been 2023 and we've yet to see any sort of Gungans take place in this year. However, Many other things, before we talk about the Gungan aspect of it, many of the other things came to fruition. Jedi Cal and other things like Purge Troopers, Pike Syndicate came to fruition via territory battles. And we also had a Sith capital ship that came out. We assumed it was going to be Nihilus, but it turned out to be Leviathan. So overall, just from those general beats, a lot of those came true. Now, of course, it could have been just very good guessing. But, you know, especially the things on Pike, the Purge Troopers, Cal, the Sith Capital Ship. I want to believe that this was coming from a, a semi-legitimate source at the minimum. But again, it's an assumption. You can take it as you will. But for me, I think there is some legitimacy to it. But what about the other things? There were things like, for example, the Gungans didn't come to fruition. The, the Naboo Starfighter for Mandalorian that didn't come to fruition. And the thing I'm kind of mad about, Bill Organa, that didn't come to fruition. One thing you got to know about Galaxy is they're always working at least one year in advance because character pipelines are the lifeblood of galaxy of heroes that's what keeps people coming new characters so they have to make sure they're always ahead of the game especially the variety of lucasville approvals they got to go through so what i'm getting at is here this may have been a rough roadmap not just for 2023 but maybe even going into 2024 because again they're working very far into the future we they don't work two months in advance three months they're working many many months and years into the future always making sure they're not falling behind because things happen things slow down the production line so you always want to make sure you give yourself a lot of leeway to keep us the star wars fans happy little babies so that's when it really started off for me i thought it was gonna be 2023 but still very much so it could happen next year and you know maybe even the, the, the boo starfighter could happen for mandalorian you know it's not quite gungans but hey you know maybe there's gonna be something and then the boo starfighter makes sense but all right after this shortly after this really started to lean in oh is this really gonna happen territory battles rise of the empire came to galaxy and with that we saw things like crosshair we saw things like the pike saw things like the uh purge troopers like the leak was suggesting they didn't become playable but they did come to galaxy of heroes they did a little q a when territory battles came out and there were a few things going on number one why didn't you include naboo as a planet in the territorial battle naboo was on the list of planets to include but failed to make the cut we were deciding on which uh, exactly which planets we launch with territory the the, geez, the territory battle with i can't speak right now okay there are quite a few empty spots left on the map though dot 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 continuing on in the same post someone was asking what's the future plans for tv3 content characters etc as with all questions regarding future content our answer will be always be wait and see you will note however there are many sections of the territory map that currently do not have any planets or paths dot 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 Coincidence? I think not. Three dots, two times. Yeah, I think something is going on here. And again, we already saw this put into play a little bit. We saw recently we got Braca, a new planet for territory battles that expanded with the addition of Cal Kesta, Sir Junda, Gemini Cal, yada, yada, yada. So we're already seeing that take place. We don't know how often they're planning on bringing maps, but they said themselves they're going to add more maps. There's plenty of places, definitely plenty of places and naboo just didn't make the cut i mean literally they basically said they had plans for it it just didn't make the cut for the launching planets for territory so again this tells me they were already working on something 
or they figured you know what we'll just push it to, to a later point because most of the planets we had at launch were basically planets that we've already had maps for tatooine there weren't really a lot of new planets but i think we got like a few but mostly you know like mustafar genos is it, it was basically just copy and paste from a variety of stuff but Braca was new naboo we've yet to have a naboo planet background inside of galaxy Heroes. it's crazy it's been around for eight years naboo one of the biggest parts of the prequels hasn't made even a minor appearance yeah something's a, a foul here but that's basically the history of where we were but now here we are new stuff adding to the jar jar conspiracy we had a recent q a for keller and back same actor who played jar jar and there was a question here seriously when will jar jar binks come to this galaxy of heroes and here they're they're saying oh folks i'm working really hard to fight the good fight here not a day goes by that i don't ask for the legend themselves capital l more like a capital w oh i think this is when the developers are really starting to latch into this idea it's like hey, you know what there's this community momentum to get jar jar let's make it happen no they've been working on this for a while but we're getting close 2024 is coming around the corner and you're telling me you don't believe well you're not gonna receive well maybe some of you guys will be happy if you didn't get jar jar but this went as far to where we are in the current drama of jar jar binks where meathead had an interaction with one of the biggest jar jar fans agnard who also has some of the most high quality posts on reddit they were talking on discord inside the swh events discord server and tusk and meathead's like you should make a petition to bring him to fruition Ooh, ooh, that was a good rhyme. Can you make put that on a t-shirt? Yeah, that, that was a good one. That was a good one. Off the top of the head, mind you. And guess what? Eggnard made a petition. So <laughs> I'm going to leave a link if you guys want to play in on the fun. They made a petition with 942 signatures. Uh, <laughs> I think this is first off, I think this is just great community interaction. I find it very unlikely Jar Jar Gungans are I'm not going to happen. It's double nuggets. So I think they are going to happen. And I think this is all just a ploy to kind of make the community feel like they're they're getting involved and they're going to make something happen. I really think this was already in the windmill of production going as early as last year, 2022. If we take the assumption that the leak was in fact a legit leak that was a big leak that just really kind of shared a general roadmap of maybe two years of some general beats they want to hit and this goes into other conversation but with the addition of things like marauder and trench it makes us want to feel like that's really random for 2023 makes us want to believe that maybe in 2024 there could be this big explosion of prequel content you know speculation but I don't think it's unreasonable. I don't know. I want to bring it out there. A lot of people kind of getting in the hype here. I think, again, community interaction is great. But I, I think this is maybe a little doctored, maybe is the right way of saying it. Or maybe fabricated, you know, maybe I, or maybe there's a facade that they're keeping up. I want to believe all these Jar Jar teasers and the Boo teasers we've gotten. It all really comes to the totality that this guy, Jar Jar Binks, is going to come to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. But that's going to wrap it up for today. I have no idea if this video amplified your life or made it better, but at the minimum, I'm just spreading the good word of Jar Jar, helping out Eggnard on his adventure to get more petitions, petition, patapa, uh, put the, put the, put the, put the, put the signatures. Link down below to check it out. I don't know. I, I, I get excited about the future of Galaxy Heroes and the, the stuff that come. And I know some people hate Jar Jar. I don't know. I always thought it was stupid in a fun way i think it was always kind of fun seeing jar just nonetheless let's see it make it happen i think developers are being a little too sneaky but we see through you we know the got plants don't play stupid with us but in the meantime leave that like comment down below subscribe so you're not missing a thing and always remember it's great to be a gungan today <laughs> the sun never sets.